Chaos Control! <laughs> Hello everyone, I am Shadow the Hedgehog. And then I'm Sonic! And as you can see, we are returning back to the land of the Noir Dimension. Which is weird because I thought we were doing uh, Miguel, but that's next time. So we're taking on a man named Tombs, I presume. Yeah, Adrian Tombs, the Vulture. Another one of his long-time enemies who are a member of the Sinister Six. And one of the few people I know who can actually say they were the first aging process, but probably wish they had because the 1994 enemy So basically, Adrian Toomes killed Spider-Man's uncle? Um, I think it's more he ate the corpse afterwards. Ugh. That's messed up on so many levels. Like, were you really paying attention to that cutscene? Oh, I was. I was just testing to make sure you were paying attention too. <laughs> Seriously? Seriously. You, 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 you realize I know more about these characters than you. Why would I be the one who needs to be tested by paying attention? Hmm. Well, anyway, I learned how to do uh, these kind of takedowns on on the walls. Well, it's not that hard. You just wait for the prompt and then do it. Now, um, who voiced Adrian Toomes in this game? That's a very good actor. Well, yeah, we already had, we already had him doing uh, the hobby opera. Ah, he's doing double duty in this game. Look like trouble, because apparently there's going to be two different versions of the whole thing here. It's not getting away. Mm-hmm. Gotta wait for the right moment to hit that B button. And we're also gonna be doing uh, Silver Man in the 2099. That's gonna be everything. Mm hmm. Definitely. And then we got Jim Cummings, who did Craven, and if you come back as the noir version of the Green Goblin. Wow. And Boomerang and uh, the Tinkerer. That's gonna be interesting. We have a lot to look forward to. Mm -hmm. Apparently, an uh, individual called Thomas L. Wilson did Electro. Nolan North is coming back as Deadpool. Nice. Jennifer Hale is coming back as Silver Sable. That's, that's for the Juggernaut level when we get to it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, a guy named John Cassier is coming to play the Scorpion and a few of Deadpool's fanboys. 
<laughs> and Tara Strong will be voicing Dr. Octopus 2099. How nice. That's a well-known actress. Oh, yes. By member. Recently known for voicing Twilight Spark with the Battle of Forty Adventures of Magic, she's been all over. She's been Harley Quinn and a couple of other characters. I can't really think of all the time in my head, but yeah, she's got a very, very long resume. I believe she was Raven. Yes, she was. Original Teen Titans and Teen Titans Go. Yeah. Teen Titans Go was a terrible spin, a terrible spin off. I wouldn't even know about a spin off. That was just bad either way. Mm hmm. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, Tara Strong has been all over the place. She's. She's basically in, like, Frank Welker and all that. She's basically got, like, several wolves of us all over the place. Good and hammered each. <laughs> and let's get some upgrades. Take out the web of destiny, make sure we didn't miss anything. Yeah, I'm trying to look around for the ones that well, how many points do you have? There you go. Yep. I had over, over 21,000. And now it's time to have a old 1920s brawl. And I was actually getting the hang of the combos in this fight. Also, if you've missed any of, the, any of the other parts in this Let's Play, feel free to check out the playlist on the channel below. Mm. Most YouTubers do that, so that I make sure that if people are lost, they can go back and rewatch the old parts. <laughs> yeah. I'll make sure to write that down in my memoirs. Mm-hmm. Nice. Do you remember that the right stick controls your camera, right? Yes. Yep. And now we have to wall, cl wall crawl around the side of the wall and avoid the lights. Yeah, makes sense. And there's a minute challenge on this too. Which I completed after my first two attempts of recording and OBS was being stupid so I couldn't uh, get on the first two tries. I mean, it recorded but the display capture was being dumb. It didn't really capture any gameplay. I was like, shit. So I had to Record it two times. But on the third time, we finally got to figure it out. Ah, 
uh, having completed the challenge, so I might as well take the guy down. Piece of cake. Yeah, I had, I had pizza for lunch today. That still confuses me is I'll film for a night time. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's like around like I'll film for a day like that doesn't make sense either, but it's like they make a they never make a discussion about the fact that like, you can use that phrase in the middle of the night, that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's that's yeah, cool. Like, the dialogue is always gonna be great, but it's still better than most of the villain had in the end of the boss race. Yep. Oh man. Not a high bar. Well, at least they can't low. They can't make the bar go any lower. Never tap face. <laughs> now trust me. Now that you said that, a money will find a way to make it happen, and it's all your goddamn fault. I know. Go to your room and think about what you've done. Um, I'm technically in my room. I'm going to the tree! Oh, great. These guys are trying to swing for the fences. Well, yeah. I guess you can see these guys are more likely to strike out than anything else. Mm hmm. As for me, I'm going to go hit a home run. Okay, now I can just ruin it. Sorry. Now, the audience would be wondering, what what made a tombs become the vulture? Uh, Adrian Toombs originally came up with this powered light pack that looked like wings. One uh, of the power pack itself is basically up on his shoulders. And he's also probably one of the Spider-Man's physically oldest adversaries. So, he kind of looks like a vulture. He's also got this really big hog and beak of a nose. Not only like a little big hog, damn! I mean, it, when he calls himself a vulture, he really wasn't far off! He looks like a human vulture! <laughs> mm-hmm, he does. <laughs> But I have a feeling this boat is going to get his wings clipped tonight. Not too bad. I know. Should be nearing the end of this fight scene. I 
that question. No way. I honestly didn't know any of the gongs. Now this is the part where we have to shine a spotlight at him. Yeah, that is not something from the original 616 continuity, by the way. That would really be something they did for Final Man Noir. I, I just really love throwing stuff at enemies. <laughs> it's fun. Even... Hmm, then no vulture was a section E. What? Well, basically he just said, you're, you're like a section E. It's a vulture or something. <laughs> Whatever second he means. I'm going to assume that we just were ready on your death to get the hell out of here. spider says. That was a bad train pun. Yeah, trust me. If there's a good train pun out there, I've never been able to get a tunnel to it. Hey, even I can't do a good train pun. I just tried. I'll give you an honest. Uh, off the tracks. Yep. Now, 
this kind of froze up a little bit because it was a little laggy. Yeah, I kind of noticed. I was like, cute. Hope I had to pause the recording and get back to where I left off and all that mess. And I was going to say, I was going to give you a train pun, an honest uh, 6 out of 10. And I was being completely honest, too. I wasn't making a joke. Now probably in my spare time I'll probably play this level off uh, off recording and try to complete this challenge. Obviously you're being put you're obviously in a hostage situation. That's why you're here. And apparently you would don't know how you take them so short. You shouldn't do it at the worst. And then how did you do a takedown? In fact I think you were prompted to do one. Oh boy. There you go. Yeah, there's a saying, uh, don't, don't tempt fate, or whatever. <laughs> well, no, no. If the thing is telling you you've got a shot, there's very little fate to be tempted. Alrighty, let's get back to, uh, knocking out these goons and saving these civilians. Well, I certainly hope so. I mean, because if not, I think we're really lousy to you. Well, I'm glad he's no Norman Osborn because that would just look really sad. <laughs> it would be really sad. <laughs> How do you keep ending up right in the lights? I have no clue. Uh, I think it's just you're not really timing this right, dude. Either that or your control no. sucks. Seriously, you did it again! <laughs> oh my. Mm -hmm. uh, you got a timer running and you aren't going to make any of this. Mm -hmm. Go up to the roof, but do it from the shadows. Or just knock him out, I don't care which. On a side note, we got two new VAs for our characters on the VA crew yesterday. Well, sometime. <laughs> and the fourth wall goes flying. Yep, we have a new Shadina, who is my uh, twin sister in my universe. Hmm. Yeah. In most universes, she's the gender bent of me, but in my universe, she's my twin sister. Hmm. And we also have a uh, Jewel the Beetle that we just got as well. Don't think I know that. Uh, she's from the Archie comics. Really don't think I know that one. I, 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 you. Archie was my jam. All right. So I don't know where the hell that one comes from. I don't recognize the name. It was from the comic where you met Tangle the Lemur and you went to a museum and all that stuff. It must have been right near the tail end, huh? Somebody do something. Yeah, and you you and you had to team up with Tangle and Whisper to save Jewel from the uh Dude, the stop going the lights. Like, seriously, how do you keep doing that? Like I said, no uh, spotlight is coming, so you crawl on into it. Why? That's a question that our viewers are probably asking themselves right now. I'm pretty sure it's a question everybody's asking because it makes the most sense to ask. By the way, you are not going to make it through that time limit challenge, by the way. Yeah, I know. Oh my god, you look who did it again! <laughs> I honestly don't know. <laughs> Dude, I mean, come on! What 
zero. You do this five times in a row. This one, I have to assume you're doing it just for shits and or giggles. If I were, I would have told you by now. No, I'm pretty sure you were pretending not to because you don't want to admit that this is something that you actually get amused by. You, you just like the things you don't want. Oh my god! I was gonna save two more civilians and knock out some more goons. Oh my god, this should be one of the easiest takedowns ever. If you bust this up, I'm going to point and laugh. Repeatedly. It's gotta get the camera angled right so it, it'll highlight the, that guy and do the takedown. Well, that already happened before, and you messed it up. There you go. And you turn around and act. Oh my God, you got it twice. Yeah, well, there you go. You finally got one of them. Holy face! Now I'm gonna put that camera angle right. Now that make sure that that they're looking away. Why are you doing it? Because they see a guy being webbed, they're going to shoot at you. Now I'm just going to take him down. Oh, now that was nice. Hey, better dumb luck than being discovered and shot again. Yeah, what, what what are you doing here? That again? The guy said, "What am I doing here?" <laughs> Not you. What did you say? Better dumb luck than what? Better dumb luck than being caught and shot again. Uh -huh. Now this now these ones here are just playing common sense. Sneak down, and there we go. Now let's collect the emblem and get this get and get the person to safety. Now, by my calculation, this is not the only time we're saving civilians in this level. Um. You'll see what I mean. After we take care of more of his uh, cronies. I'm trying to find a boxing pun, but I can't find any at the moment. Well, I guess you'll just have to watch out when you're shipping out for the next stage. Wow, okay, you don't, you don't make it look quite bad. I guess we should box that one up. Mm-hmm. See, that works. You use a bad pun set up a halfway decent one. Well, at least, uh, at least uh, there's no shipping and handling on this, on this pun. Yeah, that one doesn't really work. I mean, I get what you were going for there, but let's be honest. That's the kind of thing you just mail to Hobby Dobby. I got a Garfield reference. Shut up. Don't look at me. I wasn't going to say a word about it. You were thinking it. Mm. If you could see my expression right now, I wasn't thinking it. <laughs> so, um, have you done anything with Amy Rose lately? Like, I don't know. Go take her out to a dance or something? Uh, you couldn't pay me enough. I mean, seriously, that girl is obsessed, and in a very creepy way. I mean, seriously, she does realize they're, like, when I first met her, she was, like, what, 11, maybe 12, and, you know, that's, like, what, Sonic CD? Yep. And then it's, like, I mean, I know they tried to age her up in the Archie comics and all, but good God, is it, she's still the same age, chronologically, it's just, uh. Well, that and Honey the Cat gave her a new outfit. 
Yeah, I hate to say it, but you know, trying to justify the whole Sonic Amy thing just never worked. I mean, give me Sonic and Sally any day. Yep. Everyone loves that ship. I mean, hell, I'll take Fiona Fox and make it right down to her. At least she's the right age. Hmm. Didn't know there was a ship for you and Fiona. Well, it kind of is and kind of is. Apparently, in the Archie books for a while, they had me running around with Fiona because of that whole thing with Sally just kind of flipping out over the fact that, you know, I didn't want to end up, you know, just kind of like not fighting robotics since, you know, I'm my job. I'm surprised you didn't have to deal with Scourge at that time. Well, I mean, not after me. Uh, she ended up dating Scourge, which is kind of weird. Hmm. Yeah, dating preferences are always questionable in the Sonic universe. Mm. Oh, I still gotta, I still gotta wonder. Scourge the Hedgehog is like, is he trying to be a transformer? Because, I mean, he literally named himself after a Decepticon. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. Scourge. I know there was a Decepticon named Scourge. Hmm. There's been three of them, at least. Hell, one of them is probably, like, one of the most well-known ones, because he's from Transformers and Rouge from 86. He's the leader of the suite. Hmm. And then, of course, there's another one who was basically, uh... I think he was toy exclusive Arnold, he was one of the Beast Wars. And then you got Transformers Robots in Disguise from 2000, where uh, the Predacon version of Megatron from that particular reality cloned the Optimus Prime of that reality by scanning him, a tanker truck, and a human all at once. Wow. It's kind of based off of another toy, what are you going to do? And here's what I was telling you about earlier. Oh, please, this isn't hell. I mean, if this is hell, we can see the Ghost Rider. I'll give you props for that. Yep, Ghost Rider, a.k.a. Johnny Blaze. Johnny Blaze. Um, actually, it depends. Because there's been a couple of different Ghost Riders. Johnny Blaze is the first and probably one of the most well-known. But the second was Daniel Cash, and he was also pretty well-known. He lasted a good couple of years, too. Hmm. Yeah. You, learn, you learn something every day. I'm trying to think, um... Then there's a woman named Alejandro something or other. Don't really know that much about her. Then it went back to Johnny Blaze. Then we get, uh, what is it, Robbie Reyes. He's a really uh, straight-up ghost rider. He's a knockoff, basically. I mean, it's all weird. And Marvel is very weird about that. I know this this uh, this level is burning down the house, but this is ridiculous. Wow, dude, that joke was so bad. You should probably just burn the paper we were written on. Oh, it was a good song, though. Uh... Yeah, I listened to. Just gonna run around like a chicken with your head cut off. Yeah. Like I said, never mind. <laughs> Speaking of brother, you did have a twin sister before the game was cancelled. Oh, what? Yes. There was, there, was, there was going to be this game called Sonic Sister, but it was cancelled due to lots of complaints. Um, I I never heard about this one. But that was probably a good call. I mean, canceling it, dude, where the hell do you even find a way to justify that? Well, we're going down. Oof. That happened. Yeah. Let's see if I can fast forward.
Dude. Yeah? It literally said do a takedown, so you should have done a takedown. See? Yeah. The takedown, not drop down. Good lord. What the hell? See? Hmm. I decided, hey, I don't have I use the, the wall to take down my enemies. And it worked pretty good. I mean, at least they're not going to break that many bones if they fall off the wall. True. Uh, I've just got to get around here. Had a little difficulty because the game was being stubborn. Yeah. That came out of nowhere. Here, take him down. There we go. Is it weird the fact that I'm just waiting for the Larry the Mountain base to go? What happened to your face? It turns out that his skin was pulling over the back of his head. It's just like you grab these people by the face. It's like that skin's gotta go somewhere. Yeah, we'll be able to deal with it. Yeah, they're telling you to do a takedown. So do a takedown. Don't try to do nothing fancy. And of course, you've missed your opportunity. There you go. I'm not doing anything fancy, man. Just take him down. You're basically playing a ninja here. Act like a ninja. Don't try to be fancy. Now he's got, got one more bozo to take down. Well, I don't see him climbing this stuff, but. And you jumped right into the spotlight! Yeah. How do you keep messing that up? I was trying to catch him off guard. Uh, <laughs> and somehow you managed to do the exact opposite! <laughs> oh, good grief. This is what I said, don't get out of the fancy! Every time you try to do something fancy, you screw up! And that's the last one. He probably should have said, man, this, this really looks bad for me. I think he did just say that. Hmm. Anyway, we're nearing the final boss battle at this level. Yep. I didn't think you could say yip 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 that fast before. I'm so like the hedgehog, man. I am the fastest thing alive. Yep, you're just as fast as your, as your gender bent Sonica. You both are fast. I don't tell you get into that. <laughs> Rule 63 is a horrific thing. Hmm. I've only heard of the, the, the numbers between 2 and 5, but you know what I mean. Okay. That's why I didn't say the two numbers now, did I? I am absolutely amazed you have never heard of the rules of the internet, Baker. I'm going to introduce you to the later. They've got a whole bunch of people. 
and he's using the tablet. I learned this trick. If you if you throw the web at him when he's trying to throw the the the, the, the bottles, it, it kind of redirects back at him. He get, he gets burned. It took me on the third try of this recording to, to figure that out. Sorry, I couldn't help myself. <laughs> yeah, well, start. Anyway, let's just get this guy beaten up. Yeah. Yeah, you're the one that's frying, bird brain. a good pun from you. Thank you. I mean, could certainly use room for improvement, but it's certainly better than most of the ones you've done. Yep. You 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 learn you learn with age, my friend. Well, considering you're supposed to be in your fifties, how is it you're still this bad at puns? I mean, the fact that you get one in a great great while. I mean, come on. You lose him already? Well, there he is. To be honest, the, the the light the light makes you look better. To be honest, I think you'd be better off living in the dark dimension where nobody could see him. Then again, he wouldn't be able to see anybody there either, so it works out. Agreed. Thank you, Madam Webb. We already know that, Captain Obvious. Seriously, why does he sound like Gollum? I have no clue. You gotta learn to control your jumps better, right? Are you sure? Cause you're the one that's burning. I wasn't prompted to use it yet. Uh, you were prompted several times. Were you paying attention to the screen? To be completely honest, yes, I was paying attention to the whole screen. Well, now here's from now here's now here's from yeah. Like three times. 
Look, look at all that damage he took. <laughs> oh, he just had, he just had a Molotov over his face. I was like, oh shit, I deal so much damage to this bird brain. <laughs> Thank you again, Captain Obvious. Yeah, you couldn't have done that earlier, too. Now, if I can get, get back up there. Let's, let's wrap. Let's, and here we go. Finale's coming up. Your mom always said, "Don't get food." Ugh. Okay, you 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 need a breath mint. Vulture's wings clipped. Okay. That one was alright. That one was alright. And I heard that barely. Anyway, we've completed the vulture level. And look at that. All gold spideys. Hmm. First time in the whole series I got gold spideys. I like that. Well, 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 you said you had to deal with something. So that concludes this episode. Yep. As for me, I've got some stuff to do. So folks, this is Southern Hedgehog. Speeding on out. And we'll see you all next time when we face, um, Scorpion from 2099. Kron. Like, comment, and subscribe for more content. Till next time, Chaos Control.